Presenting the transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. And now, Superman. When we last saw him, Superman, as Clark Kent, had come to the town of Dyerville with Lois Lane to save it from the grim designs of the Yellow Mask, who had threatened to destroy it unless the city paid him the huge sum of a million dollars within 36 hours. Kent has discovered that the mask intends to wipe out the mighty Harley Dam above the city and sweep away every living thing in the resulting flood. But how the mask plans to break the dam, guarded as it is by heavily armed police, is still a mystery. Today, as our story continues, sudden terror has seized a small group standing on top of the dam. Less than 12 hours to go before the end of the time limit set by the yellow mask. But already strange rumbling shocks far below the surface of the water sound the warnings of disaster. Kent... Lois Lane and the city commissioner of Dyerville, caught on the roadway of the dam, Commissioner! race wildly for the shore. Hey, what's that, Miss Lane? Miss Lane! Right, come on, Lane, come on. Sir. Don't stop to look back. Oh, Is it going now? No, I don't think so. Take it easy, Commissioner. That noise, whatever it was, it's, it's all over now. What's it there? Kent, I give you my word, I thought it was all over right that minute. What was it? What happened? I can't imagine. Felt like an earthquake shock. Yes, or an explosion way down under the water. Explosion? Yeah. Say, it might have been at that. But why? Even if the mask is going to blow out the dam, we've still got ten hours by his own word. Yeah, that's right. Till midnight tonight. Well, I'm not so sure about that. Look, here's why I followed you out here. This letter came just after you left my office. What is it? Uh, it's a note. Don't ask me how it came, because I don't know. All I know is that I found it on my desk. I'd have sworn there hadn't been a hole in the room. Here, read it, Kent. All right. To the city commission. The secret empire is becoming impatient. I am not pleased with the way Dyerville meets my demands. Let there be more speed or I may change my mind. Sign the yellow mask. More speed. May change his mind. Kemp, what's he mean by that? Commissioner, the mask may be fooling us. It's not like him to give such a plain warning. Mr. Kent, I don't understand you. Well, I mean just this. What if the mask doesn't mean to blow up the dam at all? What if he's got some other scheme? Kemp, why do you think that? Well, he's let us know too much. Almost looks as if he wanted us all up here while he worked out another plan somewhere else. If that's the case, what can we do? Well, Lois, uh, I mean Miss Lane, you go back to town with the commissioner. Back to the meeting. Isn't that your car right over there? Yes, it is. Are you sure that's the best thing to do? I'm not sure. Right now, nobody can be sure of anything. Well, I'll take your word for it, Kent. Come along, Miss Lane. Oh, start up, Peters. We're going back. Mr. Kent, what are you going to do? Oh, stay around and keep my eyes open and my ears. All right. Get in, Miss Lane. That's it. And Kent, whatever happens, try and get back to the meeting. I'll do that, Commissioner. That's a promise. Don't forget. And good luck to you. Not only to me, good luck to all of us. Okay. Well, we'll need a little luck. Now that they're gone, I think it's time Clark Kent gave way to Superman. Any of those policemen watching? No. I think I'll have a look underwater. Find out where those explosions came from. Here I go. Here. Here's something. Looks like a piece of polished metal. And right up against the dam, too, where the crack is. If I can get it loose from the bottom. Now then. Got it. Tried it loose. Now up. Up in the air. And over to shore to see what it is. Up. Up. In the shelter of a group of pine trees, Superman examines the curious object. He is taken from the bottom of Harley Lake. Amazement shows in his eyes. He leaps again into the sky and streaks for the meeting chamber in the council hall of Dyerville where fear-stricken citizens look at each other with pale, drawn faces. I don't know what to do. No, there's no question. Don't you know better than to call me out now? Who is it? There he is, Commissioner. Said you knew him. Oh, Kent. Well, quick, man. Has anything happened? Commissioner, where's Miss Lane? She's all right. She's waiting in my office. What about the mask? Well, Commissioner, I've found the reason for that explosion we felt this afternoon. Yes? It was a torpedo. Ah, a torpedo? That's what I said. An underwater torpedo fired from somewhere up the lake at the face of the Harley Dam. No wonder it shook. Yes, but... But why? The time hadn't expired. What was the reason? Well, number one, to terrify us. Number two, to show us what he could do. Hmm. Commissioner, when the time comes, the yellow mask can blow that dam into a thousand bits. Can't, where is he? Can't we find him and stop him? Well, we might if we had time. 
Right now, he could be anywhere on Harley Lake, and it's getting dark. No time for that, Commissioner. Uh, what's the meeting doing? Oh, nothing. Talking it over, arguing back and forth. We have a radio in. Sends another message. Oh. And the proceedings are being broadcast so that everyone in Dyerville will know what's going on. Well, will they pay the money? Well, I don't know. Do you Look think... here, Commissioner. Yes? Now, tell me quickly. If the dam does go, how does the water come down on the city? Billions of gallons, Kent. Well, there wouldn't no, be a no, chance. No, no, that, that, that's not what I mean. What's its course? Which way does it go? Uh, down through the Jefferson Gorge and then into the valley. And Dyerville's right in the way. Through the gorge? Yeah. Commissioner, if you could block that gorge, what would happen? Why, well, I don't know. Yeah, yes, I do, too. And the flood would go down the old riverbed. And miss the city? Miss it entirely and join the river again two miles below Dyerville. Commissioner, yes? could you dynamite that gorge? Block it up? Well, I don't know. Uh, no, 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 we couldn't. Not in the time we have. Well, try it. Call in the army. Have their engineers get right out there and set charges. It's your only chance. Well, Kent, if you think... Well, if that's the only way... Uh, uh, listen, they're calling for a vote. I've got to go back in there, Kent. You'd better come, too. They'll make a final decision. Come along. All right. Well, gentlemen, are you ready for the question, gentlemen? Yes. Put it to a vote. We've made up our minds. They can't blackmail us. Gentlemen, it has been moved and seconded that no further action be taken in the matter of the demands made on Dyerville by the figure known as the Yellow Mask. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Contrary-minded? It is so voted. Gentlemen, you have made your decision, and I think a wise one. The people of this city cannot yield to the threat of fear. Very well, gentlemen. You have made your decision... And I have made mine. Oh, is it? Where is it, Commissioner? It's Wait coming over the radio. Wait until midnight. I shall destroy your city now, at once. Where? That others may know what it means to defy the will of the yellow mask. Where? Run for your lives, you fools. Save them if you can. Another threat. Yes. I have released my torpedoes. The flood is already on its way. Order! Order, gentlemen! He can't mean it! That was just a threat! He can't do it! Now keep your seats, gentlemen! Keep... Yes. Whose voice was that broadcasting? Uh, you heard it on the radio yesterday. You know who it was, but I don't believe him! Where's that news reporter? Where's Clark Kent? Yeah. Where is he? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's the commissioner? Yes, Miss Lane. What's the matter? Quiet! Yes. All of you! Listen! A phone call just came in, Commissioner. Yes. The dam. It's been blown to pieces. Blown to pieces. Harley Dam is destroyed. The flood is coming down on Dyerville. And meanwhile, where is Clark Kent? Vanished from the scene, changed in a twinkling to the flying form of Superman. Faster than an airplane, red cloak streaming in the wind, he rushes back up the valley to meet the boiling, roaring flood of Harley Lake, pouring down toward the narrow gorge of the Jefferson River. Five work fest, this has got to be the time. First to see if that devil was telling the truth, then to block up the gorge. It's one chance in a thousand. Even Superman can't hold back a flood. Oh, it won't hurt me, I can't drown. But it can kill every living soul in Dyerville. Faster! Faster! Ah, there it is. Going like a mill race. So you did it after all, Mask. Well, let's see if there's still time to stop you. Back to the Jefferson Gorge. Racing ahead of the flood, Superman swoops down to the only place where it can be turned from the doomed city. The narrow bend of the man-made gorge. Rocky cliffs rise a hundred feet on either side. Down thunders a towering wall of angry water. There it is. Can't get there ahead of the water, but maybe I can block it off. Down. Down. Tearing at the granite walls, blood waters raging on every hand, Superman rips into the living rock, sends great masses plunging to the foot of the gorge. But more is needed, and yet more. The water is thundering through. A great point of stone hangs high overhead. Ah! Uh, one last chance. If I can rip that loose, crash it down there in the middle. Uh, here goes. Uh, 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 not much time. Once more. Uh, it's cracking. It's starting to go. Now. It's down. It's done it. It's blocked the gorge. The flood. The flood's going down the old channel. It'll miss Dyerville by half a mile. 
In the last second of time, Superman tears down the high rocky walls of Jefferson Gorge, turns aside the main stream of the flood, sends it down its old harmless channel, saves the city of Dyerville. And two hours later, in a telegraph office on the city's main street. All right, here comes another sheet. Same address. Perry White, Daily Planet. <laughs> well, Mr. Kent, fancy meeting you here. Hello, Lois. Well, they tell me it's all over. The flood missed Dyerville. And once again, do you mind telling me where you've been all the time? Oh, I don't know. Out and around. Well, one thing's certain. This time, it's my story and not yours. Your story? You bet it is. Your cowardly running away cut you right out of it. I've sent Mr. White a complete account of how Dyerville was saved from the flood. This is one time, Mr. Clark Kent, when you weren't in on it. Hiding a smile, Kent turns away. Then the smile abruptly fades. Dyerville is saved, as Lois says. But what of the yellow mask? Suddenly Kent realizes that the mad menace is still at large. And who can tell where his next blow will strike? So be with us again next time and follow the exciting story of Superman. And remember, be sure to tune in the next thrilling installment of the amazing transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky! Look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Superman is a copyright...